Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any vehicle having a Toyota Sienna. Talking about the generation here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the secret lighter fuses are located, where you can expect to find them, two fuses, where you can buy cheap parts, two fuses, relays with a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important, you always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take things completely apart we show you guys how to do electrical mechanical bodywork a little bit of everything guys if you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on subscribe we will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs all together guys on our channels we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars now also if you need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way guys you do not waste your money and time we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find, so let's go ahead and start on it now. So the cigarette lighter fuses guys, where you can expect to find them, we will demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna right here. <coughs> you guys have two different fuse boxes in this minivan. One is under the hood, one is on the driver's side. Go ahead, open the driver door. If you look above the pedals, all the way under the dash on the left side, upside down, all the way there guys, you will see one white cover that looks like this one. Open that cover and right underneath it, you will find a fuse box layout that will look like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience here specifically guys we'll need to check two fuses okay for cigarette lighters two fuses now if you come in this row here this is fuse number one on the very top and that's the first fuse that you need to check for cigarette lighter this one then you need to go to fuse number so that's one two three four this is fuse number four this is the second fuse for cigarette lighters these two 15m fuses will be the one that you will need to guys check hopefully the video will be helpful if you guys have any questions if you want to know anything else specifically let us know thank you for watching see you next time